Okay, testing, testing, testing. Okay, I can hear everything, so I guess we're good. All right, Game Cookie US Rocks VR here. How's everybody doing? Playing a little Hunter Primal. Probably play for about, I don't know, an hour or two. So come in and join us for the hunt. Probably wondering if I'm going to talk about current events. Well, yes. The world is, as they say, going to hell in a basket. <laughs> <coughs> but I'm sure most of us who are sane realize that. Um, so, you know. The, uh, the wonderful U.S. president gave a speech that was quite uh, divisive, you know what I mean? Basically labeling a whole group of the population as dangerous, you know? And really all I'm going to say about that really is look at history. You know, look at the communists, look at the Nazis. You know, any kind of, whenever any kind of socialist dictatorship took over. It's the same old thing, right? One group who is labeling itself the oppressed and the victims point their finger at the other group and say, they're the ones who are causing the problems. They're the ones who are making me suffer. They're the ones who are a threat. You know what I mean? I'm scared of them. Even though they're doing nothing at all to scare anybody, right? But once you, as a leader, and as politicians label, and the media, of course, they're a big driving force in here because a lot of people just watch the news and they don't do any research. Right, they just kind of like listen to the news and go, oh, really? Or, oh my God, you know, like as if the media is the end all of what's really happening in the world today. But today's media, they basically, they don't find the news, they create the news. OK. Because they don't give you all the information. And in some cases, they're outright not being truthful. OK. So um, that's a problem. Because, again, a lot of just regular Americans who don't really think political, they're just, you know, looking at the news and going, oh, that's what's happening or, oh, those people are doing that. Or, oh, those people are that? You know what I mean? So, and when you do that to, when you do that to the opposition, in this case, right, um, you dehumanize them, right? And then when you start canceling them or when you start um, slandering them, um, smearing their name, you know, people kind of cheer it on and say, oh, yeah, see, they're bad. They get what they deserve, you know, and then that will that will escalate further into, well, we're going to throw them in prison, you know, and then after some years go by or some time passes, then it gets to the point where if these people die, it doesn't really matter to anyone. 
because they've been so brainwashed to hate them. You see what I mean? So that's why the left is very good at creating little groups, right? In other words, grouping everyone into little segments, right? You have the LGBT, you have the women, you have the black, you have the Latino, you have the, the, the elite whites, right? Then you got the uneducated whites, and then you got the, well, I say uneducated, less educated, you know, not college degree, right? I'm in no way saying they're dumb because uneducated, un, uneducated people are not stupid either. Um, but you kind of get my point, right? Because you can control small groups. You know, it's hard to like g gather everybody under one umbrella. So what you do is you have many umbrellas and e in each one of those little spheres, you get them to hate that group w that they want you to hate. So that's much easier to control, you know? And then what you do is you take their, they take their focus off the problem, which is the people who are teaching them to hate. They're the ones who are the problem. They're the ones who are the coming threat, right? So if you, if, if someone can get you to look over there while they're doing what they're doing over here, then you can easily be deceived, you know, and this is the tactic. Yeah. And it's always easier to get them to focus on somebody else. Right, because if they're too concerned about the person over there who never did anything to them, who they never saw do anything bad, if you can get them to believe that they are bad and that they do things bad when they don't, you're going to be scared of them. Right, and you're going to be thinking, oh, these are the ones who are protecting me. These are the ones who are, you know, my savior. When again, they're the corrupt ones. They're the ones who are the problem. You know, like a prime example, like, uh, you know, now it's like the the Democrats openly plagi um not plagiarism. Um, well, Biden does that, but um, can't think of the term right now. Well, they're openly buying votes, right? So, I had a migraine yesterday, so, you know, my brain's a little mixed up. Um, I can't have a hard time recalling stuff. Hey, Smokey, what's up? <clears throat> now I lost my train of thought. So, you know, the Democrats now are openly buying votes, right? So, they're basically saying... Oh, everybody can mail in ballots. Okay, so that makes it easier for people to vote, but it makes it also so anyone can vote who shouldn't vote. Um, you know, they jack up the food stamps to like crazy amounts, right? Whereas you, you might have been getting like $300 before COVID and before, you know, during Trump or before Trump, whatever. Now they're giving you like $900 a month for food stamps, <laughs> which is insane because the taxpayers are going to end up paying for that. Um, so and then also uh, Murphy, then in like in New Jersey, for example, um, I, I we were renewing our registration and it goes, you know, a message pops up on the screen. Now, all this stuff that I'm telling you right now, I, I know for a fact, okay? Um, so I'm not, this is an opinion, okay? Um, so a message popped up on the screen, and anybody can go to New Jersey uh, Motor Vehicles com or whatever, dot org, whatever, the, dot gov, whatever the site is, and say, just hit registration renewal, and you'll see it pop up on the screen. It says, oh, Governor Murphy, you know, like, again, Governor Murphy, right? Like, he's doing something. Like, it's his money, right? Um, is giving everyone, like, a um, registration holiday or whatever it's he called it. Um, so anybody who 
this is what the message said. Anybody who renews their registration, um, I think it said from September, uh, who has an exp expired res registration, um, I believe October 2022 to September 2023. And again, I could be a little off on the, the months there. Um, registration's free for your vehicle. For the next year basically if you have to renew okay <laughs> um how far is he he's killing the t-rex um So, again, buying votes, right? And it just so happens that he's doing that on an election year. So, we, so just as a personal testimony, I'm not sure if it's going to change, but we, we renewed our registration and it wasn't free. <laughs> so, I don't know if they're going to, like, refund it or maybe it just didn't show up, you know, as being, you know, free. Maybe on the credit card it'll say... Uh, whatever transaction accepted but uh maybe they'll say your registration's renewed but you didn't they didn't take the money out i don't know but all i know is when we did renew it we had to pay it so i'm not sure what's going on there um but you know anything the government does they do it half ass right so i think that's a sp oh Ouch. Well, you're going to run now. So not only are they saying that a, a good portion of the, our population is dangerous just because they're conservative. I mean, they say MAGA, right? They say MAGA, right? They're trying to make it, you know, they're trying to, like, sp be specific so that they're not saying conservatives, right, or Republicans, so, and the other, the other reason they do that is to try to scare off a portion, right, of the people who might have voted for Trump or might be independents who vote conservative, right, who are kind of like weak, you know, and get scared easy, you know, so that they don't go out and vote, right? Because they know that now, like, our vote's not secret anymore. You know, like before, I, I mean, I always assumed it was secret, right? When you vote, nobody's supposed to know who you voted for. That's supposed to be s confidential. But apparently they keep a record, you know, um, at least when you do it by ballot, you know. So I can, mm. like, go online and, and basically see who I voted for, <laughs> which is kind of, like, weird, you know. So I never knew that even existed until, you know, COVID. But, uh, so again, it's, it's, they, they do this dehumanization so that when they start abusing this group, oppressing this group, imprisoning this group, because that's what it's going to come down to. Jeez, that was weird. It was like upside down. <laughs> that was really strange. He's going to come through the tree. Ah. Come on. A little shaky here. My mouse is really like... Uh, it's too sensitive. I have it set too sensitive. Come 
Okay, he's just gonna stay here. Where is he? Oh my god, this thing. Now I got the bird after me. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that, so, you know, we really need to fight against that kind of mentality, demonizing a whole group of people. It's amazing how gullible young people mm -hmm. are, you know, that they just listen to these professors at college, and, and I'm sure it has to do with a lot of students that we have are, you know, foreigners. And, you know, a lot of college elites, you know, they like hanging with their, their same crowd, you know what I mean? Like, they don't like to be outcast. So, they're very weak, and they'll go with whatever the crowd is, you know? Even if they don't believe it. You know, the kind of ideology. Hey, Kyle Hako. Hello there. How are you doing? Hope all is well. I saw... Uh, I saw your papa had a stream going last time I was streaming. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. I did say hi in the stream, but, you know, I don't expect them to get on and watch the video. So anyway, back for, uh, back to hunting. Yeah, anyway. So that's all I got to say about that. I don't know, uh, why people... Well, I mean, I have my ideas. Just chilling before work, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to relax. I used to like sit, sit, sitting back, drinking a cup of coffee and maybe listen to some music, do a little reading. Hello there. How are you? There's a big Rixi here. I'm not really in the best spot here. too. He's going to kill him before I even get a chance. Oh, really? Let me get a shot. <laughs> oh well. He's pretty lucky, man. Aha, second cup of coffee. <laughs> You're gonna be uh, zooming.
Ready to rock and roll. see me Whoa, this thing's skipping all over the place. I think I need to turn down the, uh, what do you call it? He's gonna run to me. Don't run to me. He's too good, man. Too good. Yeah, a little cafe au lait. Do you drink it black or with lots of sugar and cream? <clears throat> I'm one of those guys where it's got to be nice and sweet. <laughs> it's all right, Hawk. You're the master hunter, you know? I don't want you to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sugar and cream, yep. Yeah, that's what makes it a little bit of a problem for me, because, you know, like, just like well, when I used to drink, I don't drink alcohol really anymore. It's very rare. But when I used to drink alcohol, I mean, I used to drink beer, you know, with my buddies. But I don't, I don't really like to taste the beer that much. Um, I used to like mixed drinks. But I used to have like the real, I used to have the sweet, I only like the sweet ones, right? So that was a big problem because, you know, I could end up easily drinking, you know, too many because, you know, you can just like, mm, this is good. And you're just like swigging them down. And then all of a sudden, like 30 minutes later, you're like ready to fall on the floor, you know, and you're going, wow, how did I drink that much? So same with coffee. Sometimes, you know, I let if I make it too, too good, I'm like drinking more than one cup i try to limit my coffee intake to two cups of two like 24 ounces a day that's it you know what i mean there's occasionally if i stay up late i'll drink a third one but you know i try to limit it to two cups of coffee a day because a, a doctor told me that you know um you know no more than two a day because it's not good for your, you know, 
liver and stuff like that because you know it is a poison i mean we we tend to we you know we tend to think of coffee as like a yum yum drink but it's it's uh you know it has that bitter taste for a reason you know the um so i in case you guys didn't know like coffee and tea right like tea when you grow tea the the leaves produce a chemical called i think it's called tannin so correct me if i'm wrong on that so like in nature when animals eat the trees right they're eating the leaves like the deers or whatever does you know whatever animal eats leaves you know it goes through and it eats the leaves right off the trees so so nature has a kind of a def like a a regulatory mechanism so the plants like if they're getting eat if too many of the leaves are getting eaten off the plant it, it uh, releases a chemical I believe it's called tannin but again correct me if I'm wrong there um, which produces a, a which has a very bitter taste so that the animals will stop eating the leaves there and they'll move on to the next patch so it kind of preserves the plants so that they don't get like you know totally raped of their leaves so um so sometimes what they do when they're um growing tea and coffee is in order to make a stronger tea or a stronger coffee they'll whack the plant <laughs> right you know they'll they'll beat the plant so that kind of like stimulates the plant into thinking that it's getting eaten right so because you're injuring the plant right so it, it releases more of the chemical that that makes the, the coffee bitter or the man there's a lot of lag So you know that that uh, so the you know the wonderful cup of tea that we have or the wonderful cup of coffee we're basically to an extent eating like a poison you know to our body. So the the liver I think has to break all that down and you know do its thing. So anyway, I'm not trying to discourage you from drinking coffee, but yeah, you shouldn't go overboard with it, you know moderation <clears throat> oh arrows he said um so that's uncle mike's um tidbit for the day or i should say uncle cooker <laughs> Anyway, Kohaku, you have a wonderful day at work. I really would like to uh, get back into gaming with you at some point, you know. I never did buy Elden Ring. So, I don't know if I'm going to get that anytime soon. But I am going to probably, since it's fall I'm gonna, and the, everybody's back to school, I'm probably going to, you know, get, get into some other games or whatever. But Now, oh, what a beautiful sunset. I guess it is sunset, right? Boy, the contrast on the stream is like extreme. <laughs> it looks like kind of, I don't know how to say it, like too much contrast or something.
three thousand. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> um, let me see here. Uh, see if we can do this. Testing, 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 testing. He should be in it. Let's see. General gaming, so Ah, he got it. Hello? What? Hey. Okay. What's up? Uh, nothing much really. Long time no talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been a year, I think. <laughs> How's everything um, down below? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, just, uh, studies and that. Yeah. How's that going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Cool. Decided I wanted to be a programmer. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good... Uh, Good field. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Now, are you doing like, uh, and I'm not trying to be insulting here. <laughs> are you are you actually learning real programming or just how to use programs that program for you? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's like. It's like actual programming. Uh, okay, yeah, because, you know, people call themselves programmers, but, you know, they're just putting blocks and sliders together. Uh, nah, it's like... Oh, that's really loud. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. like, people that, like, do, say, uh, like, gaming, they might do the Unreal engine. Is that two rides and a... Yeah. It's all right. I am. It's just my, a, it's my just stuff's a... all Unity stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, like you know, like I could I could probably learn how to how to use the Unreal Engine to build a game, but that doesn't make me a programmer. You know what I mean? It just makes me somebody who knows how to use a program that does it for me. <laughs> you know, I just have to learn like the intricacies of how to connect things. You know what I mean? And that's fine. I'm not saying, you know people are dumb that do that you know it still takes learning but you know i th i think real programmers are, right. are really a rare breed nowadays you know what i mean because i was reading up on that somewhere that a lot of comp a lot of companies when they hire they want you to know how to like they want you to like they want they have the regular job opening but they always attach on there, you must know this programming language or that programming language. So it's a good thing to actually know how yeah, to program. It's, it's always, um, oh. yeah, it's always like the web website based programs like HTML and others. <laughs> Sorry, I, I missed that. I'm sorry. That last. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, it's like uh, it's like more web-based programming that people should know, like HTML and probably WebGL mm -hmm. <clears throat> and other other programming right, languages right. to make a website. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And then oh. you have some Rex. Like powerful programming languages to do everyday stuff. Oh, yeah. Exactly right. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I kind of wish I didn't shy away from all, all that stuff because I was always like very. I, I had a very, I guess, oh, yeah. low self-esteem, so I didn't challenge myself a lot. 
You know, if, mm. if something was like hard, then I would just give up. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I didn't really have anybody to, uh, ins like, keep me going or inspire me. You know what I mean? Just to encourage me, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, now nowadays, you know, you guys grow up. Well, today's kind of a nutty world, but whatever. You know, today there's more of a uh, uh, what's the word? More of a support. There's there is right up there on the hill. <laughs> the classic look. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. That's like the best spot for him to be. Um, mm -hmm. Showing, showing himself. You know. Here I am. Oh, he's like coming straight towards us. So I better split. Yep. <laughs> well, I think with three of us, we should confuse him enough, hopefully, where he's not gonna. He... It. Where he's not, he, where he's gonna eat you instead of me. <laughs> Hulk's, Hulk's like what? So you get all the content <laughs> and me dying. There you go. Yeah, of course. I gotta, I gotta be able to see you guys flying up in the air like Superman. Watch you go uh, all the I'm way just... across the swamp. <laughs> like, oh, how did Hawk get the bushwhack so quick? <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. Mama, I can fly. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Yep, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming after you. Come for me. For some reason. Must be because you're down under. Uh, uh must be Kyle. Oh, we got him. Or something. Oh, too close. All right, oh. good job, good job, nice, nice work. If, even with the hide ping, I still got him. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, uh, I'm not running the server either, which is kind of weird, because usually the server they avoid. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, what? I wonder what, what my ping's at, not gonna lie. And, and that could have something to do with it too. The, the ping could have something to do with it. Can you check? Is there a way to check the ping? Or no? Do they have that in here? No, I, nah, I think the I think the host has to do with oh, it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the computer's upstairs. I'm, I can't go. I, nah. gave, I gave up my uh, computer room. <clears throat> oh, really? For the boys. Well, they need a room. They're getting a little bigger now, so they kind of been like Again, sleeping with mom and dad, older. you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like they're kind of like, can we have our own room now? Oh, yeah. They're they're at that age. Well, my 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 son's got his own laptop, so you know he's obviously, you know, that changed his whole mentality oh, yeah. right there. <clears throat> Yeah. He likes doing. Other guy he likes way. doing stuff on the computer now. Paint 3D and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he still play Primal or? Yeah, I mean he can. Yeah, he's kind of or... he's kind of like home. Home hurt right now. He fell down the stairs the other day, so he's a little banged up. He's okay, but oh. you know, he got a lot of bruises from it, you know. Oh dang. Yeah, I guess he tripped and fell down the stairs, so. No. Luckily he didn't uh, break any bones, at least we don't it doesn't seem like he did, you know. He kinda rolled down, you know. <laughs> and you know, kids kids are a little more durable, you know, because their center uh, yeah. their center of is gravity it, is they... different, you know, so you know, he's and he's he's like the heftier of the kids. Like my daughter's like a toothpick, and my my other son is like a toothpick, but he's like the stocky one, you know. So oh, he's yeah. he's like beefy, you know. So he's got a lot more padding. I would be more concerned if it was my other son, you know, because he's you know kind of fragile a little bit, you know. He's he's strong, but he's skinny, like I said, so. You know, he w he was at the playground, and he was on the monkey bars, you know, going across, and he just fell down, and just broke his wrist oh, yeah. like that quick. Oh. You know, so well, he landed oh, on no. him, I guess backwards or. That reminds me of my brother. He did the same thing. Yeah. 
So, but you know, my Jaden is a little tougher. You know, he can. You know, he's like a walking uh, adamantium. <laughs> you know, he can bang his head, and it's like you can bump into him, and you'll get hurt. <clears throat> he's got those kind of bones. Yeah. See, now you made me like, uh, you made me, uh, what do you say, more liberal because you gave me 3,000 arrows. So I'm like, cool, I got all kinds of arrows to shoot. <laughs> See, when I don't have too yeah. many, I'm like trying to like aim and, <laughs> you know, try, yeah. to get a, try to get a shot. But when people give me like 3,000 ammo, I'm like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, I, f I figured out how to edit the save file, so I just gave myself like 10,000 ammo and wow. Yeah, hopefully. literally every item. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. As long as it doesn't mess up the server, that's that's the only thing I hate when uh, you yeah. get the hacks. But I guess if you're just doing a uh, a uh, basic edit, it probably won't mess with that. I uh, I just did a simple edit in like. Uh, notepad on on the computer. Right, right. Yeah, that probably shouldn't mess with anything. I, I think yeah, when no. they, I think when they use that that uh, hex editor, that's when it messes things up. Because uh, there, yeah. there, there's yeah, there's some people have like a little like that's like ten thousand a little pro, a little program, and it pops up like a, t a hex editor, if I'm saying that right. And um, oh, yeah. somehow they change the parameters in that. I don't know how they do it. So it gives them, like, say, fa uh, unlimited stamina. You know, you can shoot, like, multiple arrows at once, you know. So yeah. I, I think that's when it messes up the server because it's not really programmed to do that. So... And it's probably just causing some yeah. kind of corruption somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen uh, some people like have that same program and edit guns to shoot like cross bolts. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's what I mean. Right. So. Yeah. yeah I think that just kind of messes with things. Yeah. Like it's probably okay when you're solo. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. But I guess the main server, it's you know, whatever the communication is between the two, the uh, client and the server. When you change stuff like that, I think it screws something up. Again, I'm not a programmer. I don't know what it's doing, but, you know. Yeah. I All I know is that when people have those hacks, the server acts weird. Like, dinosaurs disappear. You know, they're skipping all over the place. Stuff gets stuck up in the air. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Strange things start to happen. <laughs> All right, so I guess there's no. Uh, start I, I was hoping a Rex was over here. <laughs> right. Usually the Rex. Where are we at here? Is this Trihorn? Yeah, I'm just wandering aimlessly. Yeah. I guess there's nobody here except the Trike. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He wants to dibs on the track. Stop? Why are we stopping? Let me get out my APR to do a trikey twos. Uh. What do we got here? We got two. I guess you get the close one. I'll get the far one. Yeah. I'll bring him over. Alright. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Did the other one run, or you got him? Nah, I, I got him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb question. <clears throat> that, that shot was probably made too, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. You got both. Alright, I guess we should head over to uh, <clears throat> Arthur's then, if uh, there's nothing here, I guess. Oh, I hear another trike. Yeah. In the woods. <clears throat> Guess we can cut through here. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Uh, I think we killed all the Rexes <laughs> of the server. <laughs> or was it the two big ones? And the small one. Well, how many? How many? How many were killed so far? How many is showing for you? Uh, three. So um, I got I got one. So we killed four. <coughs> I've, I've got I've got I've got four. So that makes oh, five, five total. All right, so five. Yeah, <laughs> no, there should be plenty more, unless um, Mirius killed some. I'm sure there'll be some over at Arthur's. There's like 20 on the server, so... Uh, he's all the... <clears throat> and then that doesn't that years. doesn't count special ones, I don't think. Oh, he's gone. Oh. I think special ones are extra. So there's like a 1 in 20 chance of it being rare. Yeah, I don't know what the odds are, I just know... Well, you know, I don't play every day like I used to. Like, when I was playing every day for them years, <laughs> you know, it was, uh, you know, I was getting the rare ones pretty often. You know, I don't, I didn't really yeah. think about what the ratio was, but I don't hardly ever see, like, a queen anymore. Or not a queen, a um, big mama. You yeah. Know, that's very rare. So, um, I do see, like, the uncommon one. You know, I don't know. I would say one out of five times I log in. So I would say 20% chance on those. Yeah. Um, I think that was one time. Yeah. I think that was one time I um, log, logged in right on spawn and there was a, there was a, um, a rare just on the hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times too, the rares will will be evasive. They they run away a lot, you know. So there may be one on the server, but you never oh, yeah. you never see it because as soon as it hears something, it kind of goes the other way. The same thing with the heavyweights too. Sometimes they're more they're more evasive. It's just always too. running. Yeah, I think they probably did that on purpose to make it harder to get them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if they see you, they're not going to run, or if, like, they're super close, I mean, I guess they'll be okay, but... I, I tried tracking one one day and couldn't find it. I mean, it, it just kept saying, running, running, fleeing, fleeing. I was like, oh, man. I think I spent, like, a couple hours yeah. tracking it. <laughs> it's like, but, but I just could not find it. Yeah. What's he shooting? That one way out there? Hey. Yeah, I don't think he's hitting it though. <laughs> no. Oh, there we go. He hit that, that nice. one. Oh, there's like heaps of them. Okay, we should. One, two, three. A lot of trike out here. Ah, oh, flicker. No. I can see you were prime. Why? This is... <laughs> I already have I one. I can't there. see it. I got flicker. Let me try the 50 caliber. Let's see if that's flickering. If it is, it's your fault. Your hack. <laughs> I'll blame it on you. Ah, flicker. My goodness. Maybe it's just this area. Sometimes on the map, it's uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm seeing a floating APR. Oh, are you? Yeah, then it's somebody's got hacks. I don't know if it's your 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 hack, but somebody's probably. Oh, you know what it is? When you use the um the new items, that also causes some weird glitches. Like if people use any of the new stuff that they added. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that, that a rare trike? Um, 
Um, I can't. S uh, I don't see no stripes. Uh, no, it's gotta have stripes. Which one are you looking at? Uh, one no. of these? Oh, uh, no, I was looking at a strike that was a little bit further, oh. further away. But, um... Maybe if it's got the stripes on the top of its back. Up, oh, is he alive? Oh, this one's just kind of standing there. He's, uh, he's like see. maybe he's like maybe if I sit still, they won't see me. Well, there's a lot of like <laughs> lag spikes. Mm -hmm. T-Rex is like humans. I guess you can you can harvest that if you want. Uh, I don't want to crash. Good. Good. Nice to see people. Nice to see a bunch of people. On this is probably a better time. That's why. <laughs> Get people from Europe and then people from uh, your area. Oh, it's... That's <laughs> it's like midnight for me, so. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. When I when I stream and like say three o'clock, it's like not a really good time because people here are going to sleep and people in your area probably are going to work, you know. And people in Europe are going to work. Well, maybe not people. Everyone's Let's probably see. Three sleeping. o'clock. Three <laughs> o'clock. People will be coming home from work. Yeah, in, in where you are. Hmm. I got friends from all time zones. <laughs> I play at like all hours of the day, so it's like. <laughs> It's just secret people playing this game again, even though. <laughs> I hear another trikey. There he is. All yours, buddy. Huh. Take him out. <laughs> He doesn't know what to do. Oh, he... No, he <laughs> I think he's dead, yeah. He did the flop thing. Yeah. He was, like, turning left he's, and right. He didn't know which to way me. to run. Three people definitely yeah. confused the dinosaurs. Yeah. I think it's when, like, when, uh, when two people shoot at the same time at the same dinosaur, it just flops. Oh, instead of, like, uh, doing that cry or whatever, just instantly dead? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, uh, oh, it, it, like, it like um flops for one person you know when it goes oh like, oh yeah right 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 like flip flop and back and forth thing. right yeah it, it does that for like one person and then it dies for the other and like yeah <clears throat> so since you're going to be a programmer maybe you should uh do something with this game <laughs> i re <clears throat> i I really want to buy this game and develop it more, fix all of the bugs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, I still haven't played a game really like this one yet. I mean, there, somebody mentioned, so, oh. uh, somebody did mention a game, let me see, that was in VR. Um, let me see if I can find the message again. Usually it goes away after I respond. I think it was on my last primal video. On the track that you killed? I think it was on this last one. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> Google, Google. Ah. Google's talking to me. I'm like, sorry, hey Google, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> She's like, 
Sure, but first you gotta unlock your device. Oh, prehistoric hunt. Yes, is, I wanna unlock. Is the game uh, that that he's saying I should try again because it's got lots of updates. So I'll have oh, to yeah. I'll have to look at that one again. I don't know yeah. if that was the VR one. Maybe that's not the VR one. Maybe that's the other. Because there was one where you have this guy. It's like, kind of like a single-player survival type game, but you you, you got to shoot dinosaurs or something. You got to right. make it through the. You got to get you know past the dinosaurs and stuff. Um, it's kind of open worldish. So I'm not sure if that's the one or the VR one I played. There is a VR one that's okay, but it was just very like bare bones and. I don't know, it wasn't really that fun. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a few dinosaur survival games that I've seen. Um, there's like a one where you start off with nothing and you have like a spear and like... And like everything primitive. And you're fighting against dinosaurs. Right, but is that co-op? Or trying to survive. A co-op? Uh, That's what I'm talking about. I'm a, not, like I'm not a co-op sure. multiplayer. I'm not... Oh yeah, um, I, I know what you mean, but um, I don't. I'm not too sure actually. And one that's like geared more towards like, you know. I don't know. I, I'm not really that like that keen on the survival part. Like I don't care about survival games much, but. You know, like this one, you could have it so that you have to, when you kill the dinosaurs, you use the meat to cook food. You know, you got to eat, like, say you got to eat like three times a yeah. day or something. You know, you got to drink like water every hour. I don't know, something yeah. like that. Like they could add like a survival aspect. Yeah. To it. You know, um, yeah. um, a base building, right? Where you can build, build like a simple, you know camp yourself that would be kind of cool of course add some more dinosaurs right Cause... Yeah. that kind of reminds me of like yeah obviously add, add more dinosaurs in that um that kind of reminds me of another game called hunting bigfoot like it, it's got like map big updates and there's like plenty of maps and it's kind of like what you're talking about like survival survival get random guns mm -hmm. now what do you now is there more <clears throat> is there more yeah, stuff like that is there more that you have to worry about in that game than bigfoot <clears throat> like what do you what's uh i mean i heard of the um, game i saw the game on steam but i never really read into it much Um, there's like, there's like other animals you have to keep, keep an eye out for as well. There's like wolves that attack you, there's, mm -hmm. I mean, there are other animals that attack you and stuff, but like, is it single I guess player? I it's like the main challenge. Single player game? Nah, it's co-op. Oh, is it? Cool. Did you play that game Green uh, Hell? Uh, not really, but I haven't heard of it. Oh, really? Wow, that's interesting. I, I was getting, yeah. I was getting like, that game suggested to me like constantly by Steam. Because, you know, I played like, it said, oh, because you play Hunter Primal and, you know, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> yeah, here's Green Hell. <clears throat> it's, that's definitely, that's like a hardcore survival game, yeah. I think. Um, it's it is co-op though. You can play oh, yeah. you can play with more than one person, and it, they just added VR support for it. So, oh yeah. So I'm not sure about this VR support. Like I haven't played it in VR because I don't have the game, but um, it may be a game that I buy now because it has VR support. Yeah. Um, Because you know, uh, co-op games in and VR are, be are like really the best. Pretty terrifying in VR. Well, like the forest is mm. VR. That's that's pretty. Uh, you know, if you get scared easily, that one will definitely 
Uh, oh, yeah. That one will freak you out because, <laughs> especially at nighttime when the natives start attacking you. Oh, yeah. You definitely. see, like, this ugly thing in your face. You're like, going, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear, you hear like the running in the in the forest, but you can't see anything. You know, you hear them like moving around, and you're like, "Oh my God, where are they?" Yeah. And uh, it's you know, of course, can yeah. be pretty gruesome because you know you're definitely hacking them to death with your axe. Um, <laughs> so you know, it's uh, yeah, it can be like in your face kind of an experience. Yeah, I've always wondered if they're like the the sub that they're like survivors of the plane crash just like horribly horribly infected or something and like you're the only survivor that didn't get turned into one of those things well i don't yeah i, I you know I, to, I never really played the story so i don't really know hardly anything about the story um because when I first played it, I really didn't even think it had a story. I thought you were just like dropped in this world and you just had to survive and for as long as you can. It wasn't until I like went to the caves and saw like the messages and stuff that I said, oh, okay, this thing has a story. And then, of course, I saw other people that I know from Steam playing it and, and it says they completed this achievement, that achievement. And I'm like going, oh, wow, it does have a story, like a real story. So... Yeah, I never played the story, so I don't even know like if the people are just natives or are they part of the crew of the plane. I again, I just assumed you were the only survivor. Yeah. You know that was just my assumption. So. Yeah. I think it start, starts off like when you first get into the game, you you're like with your son and son. You get a book and you're trying to like your whole objective is to find your missing son because the natives took him. Right. <clears throat> okay. That makes sense. Well, that's a good, uh, a good objective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some of them, some of the, uh, I did encounter, did me and you play that game? No, I don't think we have. No. Okay. I played it I mean, with somebody. I... Um, it might have been the, the hunter. Uh, what's his name? I can uh, download it. It might again. have been with Farmer. I do have it. Um, I played it with. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely can get back into it at some point. That's for sure. Um, I haven't played it in ages. VR is fun. I like playing it in VR because the building is nice. Every they did a good job with translating it to VR. You know, so the. The controls yeah. and the mechanics are not too frustrating, you know. <clears throat> There's that's that's a lot of that that's like fifty percent of the enjoyment, you know, VR games is if the controls are not right, it's just yeah. gets annoying playing. Yeah. No, I, I really want to get a VR set. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, like when I played Skyrim VR, I mean it was a totally different experience than the desktop version. Oh, ah, yeah. I mean, oh, it was wonderful. I loved it. That's why I played it so long. I think I put up like, I don't know how many videos, a bazillion, like seven-hour videos. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's hard to get out of it once you get into it, <clears throat> especially when you mod it and put the extra followers. Um, and I mean, extra quest. You know, the game just looks beautiful. It's the followers are interesting, you know, because they, they talk to you and you can interact with them. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, respectable. <laughs> the, yeah, the dungeons, you can add more dungeons, so that makes it nice. So, yeah, yeah it's really a um, immersive world. <clears throat> I think you have to add a mod, though, for... Uh, You have to add a, add a mod, I think, to see your hands and your feet. Um, I'm not sure if you need a mod to oh, yeah. to actually like use the bow with your hand. <clears throat> but I mean, it's kind of awkward when you're shooting a bow and you can't see your hands. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
So I think that's why people added the made the mod because it's a little quirky. You that just way. look down and you're handless. Right. And I don't know why Bethesda. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I, I, I don't really understand like why. Like game developers, I understand that they have time constraints and financial budgets and all that stuff, and they can't just like work on something forever and ever and ever and ever. Like you know, but it's. You know, it's just to me. It was it, to me. It's like a no-brainer. Like you, you want to see your hands and feet when you're in VR, right? Mm -hmm. You want to even see your body. You know, like the mod made where you were able yeah. to see your body. You know, oh. so. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, like you look down and you can kind of see your everything. So, why Bethesda didn't do that? It's like a mystery to me. Like I don't understand why dev developers don't like. Why? Why? Why do mod? Why can modders do it, but they can't do it? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I think it's more of like a time crunch thing. Like, like certain clients have a certain day they want the game to be released, and if like the game's <clears> like, <throat> like I know many games that have like been far from completion, and they've like released it with mm. all these bugs still. Oh. Right. Um, they, they've gone ahead and released the full game with like all these bugs and issues still un yeah that's true like uh, it's like them like yeah that's like fine i mean i to fix it all i can understand that but it's like i i don't i don't really understand why they can't just have one person like just working on the little intricate details you know what I mean like the again these are not like major things like at least I don't think they are I mean I, I hear a Rex Ooh, T Rex. I mean I don't I don't I don't know how much it takes to program being able to see your hands and your feet mind you right it could take you hundreds of hours I don't know but if a modder can do it then a developer should be able to do it much easier because they have the resources right they have the team where if a person's saying I'm stuck at this point, you know what 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 do you suggest? You know they have other programmers that they can talk to, right? A very big support group. It's not like you're you being at home modding it yourself and have to figure everything out. You know what I mean? That that's like difficult, you know. But uh, you know a, a game developer, you know, has the resources and the team. To be able to, to do these things much easier, so I don't know. I don't really, I don't really see it as a. I don't really think they have an excuse <laughs> for certain things, you know. Oh, he's coming after me. Yeah, watch out! He's almost dead. Oh, good job! Good job! There we go. He was looking at you, huh? He's uh, like I don't know who, who he's was like, looking he, at he... me or um. Up, oh, oh, bird. Hey. Yep, sneaking up on us. Oh, that was a weird approach. <laughs> Him once. Here he comes. Oh, right in the heart. He's frozen. Oh. I He's just stuck in the air for yeah, me. He glitched him out. Yeah. yeah. I think it's your arrows, maybe. Oh no, I was using the shoddy. Because I don't usually glitch. No, it's because you gave me the arrows. Probably. Anytime you change stuff in this game, it's like really messes it up. Uh, oh well, he'll oops. fall. He'll fall eventually. I still hear him flapping, but I think I got him. I shot him like right in the heart area. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Because I see him like he's he's flashing over here. I honestly didn't think it. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I... We'll see honestly if it didn't dies. Think changing stuff in Notepad. Yeah, I don't see why much. I don't see why that should change much either. But again, the game might be. You know, program with like limitations, you know, on numbers or something, you know, like that you're not supposed to have 3,000 arrows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure there's probably some, other some other people have pushed it <laughs> pretty far. Yeah, I know. Um, but there might be other people on the server here that are using hacks. So, you know, we have. Virgil. Well, there was somebody else. What happened to him? Uh, I think he disconnected. Then um. Oh, he he killer. got killed and then uh, ah, I crashed. No, I don't think. Oh no. I'll be right back. No, well, okay. at least at least the server's up. But yeah, that's why I do that now. All right. All right, I'm coming back. I'm lost in the blackness of space. Ah! <laughs> Oh no. And he's gone. Yeah. Let's see where I'm gonna drop in. Hopefully not too uh, far away. Uh, you'll probably spawn near the volcano. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe, maybe the side of the volcano. Yeah, that's what you mean, right? Yeah. That's not too bad. I can live with that. But hopefully not on the other side. That would be bad. Oh yeah, no, nah, probably. Oh, and Buzz buzzer disconnected. Or it could as well. be on the other side. Or it could be down the swamp too. Oh no, no. Not oh, not the big on. swamp, but the um, yeah, the one next to us. Yeah. Although that might be a good thing because if there's a Rex over there, then we'll know. Yeah. Come on. I hope it connects. I should have restarted the um, launcher. I didn't do that. Um, have you have you tried um? Uh, um, just I think this is this is a way to fix the crashing. Have you tried um, um, checking the inte the integrity of the of the files, like doing a integrity set? Sure. Well, what? I mean, I've done that in the past, and it really hasn't changed anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, you spawned right here. Yep, pretty close. Yeah. Yay. Wait, where are you guys? Oh. Wait, huh? Uh, we're oh, just, there you go. Okay. It took, around, a, yeah. it took a little while for you to load up. <laughs> it was showing you, like, way over past Site D. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go um, <clears throat> up this uh, side here. Uh, okay, see. So you, you guys go um, around the mountain on the other side, I guess, in case you see anything. Uh, we, we can meet, like, the on the other side here. Yeah. Bridge is going to you. I'll, I'll be happy to go around the other side. <clears throat> I wonder what would happen if I email Avalanche Studios saying if I want to buy this game. <laughs> yeah. Revamp it. They'll probably... I don't know. My, my guess is that they were only using this as a test bed for Call of the Wild. Or... Oh, yeah. Or there were some things that they used in the game that they licensed and they didn't like renew the license. Like in other words, uh, yeah. in other words, like they already made the game, so they're allowed to have the game out in the wild here, but they couldn't sell it anymore, you know, because they didn't have, they didn't renew the license for the assets or whatever, you know. I mean, I'm just uh, guessing. Yeah. I don't know, but because again, I don't understand why they would not think that this game would be popular, like. You know, it sold 150,000 copies. 
Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, so, I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> For such a yeah. simple game, you know what I mean? Obviously, some people probably thought there was going to be more later, but, I mean, like, it just seems like there's some kind of contempt for it. Like, I don't understand. They want to avoid it at all costs. Like, even even when I was posting, like, make a, make a um, dinosaur map in Call of the Wild, like, make a fun map. You know, like, you know, I know, I know it's supposed to be a serious game, but, you know, I don't think anyone's going to care if there's like a, a, a zone where there's just dinosaurs that you hunt, you know, or have to be careful about, you know what I mean? Make it, I mean, make it, make it like a Halloween map or something, you know, for Halloween. Like, oh, we're making a new map in the spirit of Halloween, it's you know, a dinosaur map, and, you know, if, except, you know, this is not a map where you can just roam around freely, you know, because you're going to get attacked, you know what I mean? Like, that would be yeah. cool. I'd be happy with that. I don't know why anybody would be upset, but whatever. I don't know. Hey, Echo. I've got Raptors. I mean, what do you think? Do you think they should make keep it a separate game, or do you think it would be okay to put uh, a primal well, map? Well, I think they should the definitely wild? do something like. Because the graphics in Call of the Wild are one are, are really wild, nice. I'm playing more Call of the Wild. The graphics are beautiful in that game, so oh. it would be nice. Yeah. It'd be very nice if they put. Like a dinosaur map in Call of the Wild. Well, or open up Call of the Wild for modding. <clears throat> you know, of course, uh, you know that might mess up the achievements or something. But oh, but um, but I'm sure they can implement something yeah, where I think, like. Uh, that well, no, well, no, like Skyrim, right? Skyrim and Skyrim VR. If you mod the game, like you can't you can't complete any achievements. So oh, yeah. so just have it that so just do that. You know, if you, if the game's modded, then you can't do the achievements. So that gives people a choice. Okay, do I want to mess around with the game with mods or do I care about being a completionist or should I complete the game first then add mods? You know, it kind of like you know, gives you a choice on <clears throat> what you want to do. Like, I don't care about being a completionist, like, personally. Like, if, the, if, a, if a game can be modded and there's, oh, yeah. mo there's mods that I like, then I'm going to mod it. I could care less about the achievements. Because the achievements don't do anything for me in real life. I mean, like, I don't need to feel good because I completed 100% achievements. <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't really do anything for me. I'm just playing literally yeah. just to play. I don't I'm care. Like, I don't care about that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, achievements don't really mean mean much to me. Oh, Rex. Where? You right in front of me. Where? Huh? Where is he? I hear him. Oh, there um, he is. Up on there. the hill. Okay, a bit. Yep. Where they just love this hill scene, don't um, they? Yeah, near the trees. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Try to take a shot at him. No, flicker. Ah! Darn it. Hit him in the head. Sorry, Crap. That just pisses him off. Oh, this flicker is driving me crazy. Oh, uh, this. Go to like second. Oh, he's the stuck on the rock. Can scope, and it's fine for me. Again. Oh. Yeah, I got him in the arm, I think. Ah, oh, that was not a good shot. Oh, why are you going for me? Oh, uh, he's about to die. Alright. Yep, here a miner. Oh! 
He just skipped right oh, in front of me. That was weird. If you look at the video. He was like so far away and then all of a sudden oh, he yeah. was like right in our face. <clears throat> yeah. Boy, he rolled yeah. like several times for me. <laughs> really? I don't know why uh, the server is doing that. I think you know why? Because I think I turned the server FPS up too high. I put, oh. I, I put it like up to 144 frames per second. That's probably what the problem is. It's It runs better at 60, I think. I'd probably do it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what am I running? Um, uh, running like a comfortable 90 FPS. Yeah, I'm on a 4K television, so I think mine's just uh, probably at 60. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, well, it doesn't go any higher than that. It's a 60 hertz TV, so. <clears throat> and you've got the. And you've got the monster of a, of a computer. Well, this this particular computer's got the 3090 in it. My other, my other next one down has the 2080 Ti. Hi. Yeah, the 2080 Ti mm -hmm. can run can run 4K 60, pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't go. Yeah, you, know, you can't go. Well, on some games you can go higher than 60 at 4K, but. Um, I think I'm running running it. Oh uh, yeah. Interrupter. Yeah, I hear him. He's over at the settlement. Hi. Yep. Oh, is, oh. That, is there two of them? Let me get out my. Uh... Oh, he's right here. Yeah, there's one there's in three. the. There's one in the I'm settlement. In my too. way now. Alright. There's one more, I think. Yep. And there's a few more down yep, the hill. Yep, there's, there's some up the hill, too. Up in the woods. There's one Hi. down and there's uh, one up. Woods. Oh, here, let's let them come to us. Come on, smell us. We're here. I am. Yeah, Christy. What's up, Christy? Yoo-hoo. Oh, you're joining now? Good. Cool. Nice. You can have the one up the hill, I guess. <laughs> I managed to get that one under his neck. Lucky shot. Sure. What did he do? Oh, okay. Did he run away? Whoa. Nah, he ran past me. Nope. Oh, because of the hill, maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh god. There you go. Yeah, he just dropped to the ground. <laughs> like you said, we both hit him. He just went down like a pancake. Yeah, surprising for me. Oh, was he? Uh, he just kind of uh, instant flop. Oh. Yeah. Another one? Oh, there's one more. Yeah, I hear oh, him. Right there. Where is he? Down? Yeah, he's down. I he's can hear him, but eyes. I don't see him. He's to the left a bit. Alright, I'll let you get him since you see him. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's blending in. What do you want, me? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Ah, uh, he's like... I'm missing every shot. There we go. Yeah. He really wanted to eat me. He didn't even do anything. Oh, 
I'm just a horn blower. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's try corns. There's got to be some more wrecks around here. It's probably guaranteed one or two by the lava lake. Yeah, well they... <clears throat> well, they could have walked across that mountain over to the swamp. We could have missed them there. Then of course uh, you got yeah. the ones that go from the the um the basalt flow here to site C, 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 right? They walked back and forth there. Maybe we should go up on the hill over here and see if uh, they're yeah. if they're crisscrossing or if we see some tracks maybe. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And then of course they also go over there from Raptor Valley to this little ravine here they walk back and forth there too so yeah <clears throat> yeah i didn't go to the weather station because um killer was over there so i didn't want to oh there you go speak of the devil there he is down by the ravine oh there he is boy that's pretty sad man when i can predict things um <laughs> Let's see, what are we going to oh. use here? What do we want to do, arrow? Or... We can do arrow. Let me get my APR equipped, just in case. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the slope is our friend over I here. I just equipped mine. So, we can use the slope He's to, walking away. to our advantage. That's okay. Let him go up. Oh, yeah. He looks close, but he's rather far. I don't like this. Yeah. He sounds, sounds close, but he's... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, they don't go up on the slope. <clears throat> too big, too heavy. Maybe, yeah. Yep. Sees us now. What's the size on that thing? Uh, probably saying like 50. 50. 59, 61. Mm. Another small one, huh? The last one I think was a small one. Hello. Oh, he sees me. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, he's going up here. Whoa, watch out. Don't worry, go past him. Watch out, it's hard to run uphill. There you go. Going down, buddy. Boom. Yeah, he kind of gave us a free shot there. <laughs> Whoop, there he goes, rolling down. Yeah. Wrong, wrong I, way. I like, I like doing this. Whee! Uh, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> the trikes work really well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the trike do really good because they're round. <laughs> yeah. 4%? Are you kidding? My goodness. Um, didn't I hit him like? Hearts. Didn't I hit him like four times? Oh, you got the heart probably, yeah. So I guess I give you more credit. Uh, oh, you hit him three times. Yeah, no heart shot though, I guess. I'll take four percent. Same, aim in between. At least I can Just say I helped. I helped kill it. Two arms. That's about it. <laughs> He, he gets some credit. Did help. Yeah, so I spit on it. That counts for something. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to go to the basalt thing or 
check out C. I'm sure uh, C will have something, probably Utah for sure, but I don't know about a Rex. Yeah. Because that one might have been the one that come from it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I guess we can go out here. The, the salt. We made some noise, so maybe something's coming. Out of the yeah. woods. Uh, Look at that. He gave, he gave you a nice shot. Yeah. Uh, he he lagged for me a bit. He went under the map. Yeah, he like disappeared and like kind of blew up like a balloon and was like there. That's how it looked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Things are acting strangely in Primal Eden. Yeah. As long as we don't go floating off. Yeah. Like Byhawk, going, Honestly, going, 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 going to visit the big blue planet in the sky. <laughs> yeah, uh, just use my superior programmer hacks fly up there. You know what I find kind of strange about this game is since it was expansive worlds that, you know, was at least the employees that worked for them or the interns or whoever did this game. Um, you know, they, they're like known for their, you know, games where they got vehicles and hang gliders and stuff like that. You know, I'm surprised. Where, where I'm, are they? I'm surprised that they didn't. Well, because it, Expansive Worlds just didn't make their own games. They were also making other games, too. You know, like, um, I can't think of the name of them right now. I've got a mental block. Um, Rage 2. Um, oh, yeah. The, um, the other one, too. Um, uh, they made, like, four parts to the game. Uh, can't think of the name of it. I don't know, it's the one where the guy is like running all over the map and he's like, you know, jumping off planes and hand gliding here and shooting missiles there and... Uh, uh, just Cause? Yeah, Just Cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also worked on those games, so, you know, uh, made the world or whatever. They're the ones that made the map and stuff, so... Yeah, who's this? You got a new person here? Hey Rupert, how's it going? Welcome. Greetings from uh, the USA. <laughs> and I guess from down under as well. Welcome. Yeah, we kind of uh, we kind of went around so the whole sunny map. Sunny Australia. <laughs> it's not so sunny right yeah. now. Yeah. It's kind of dark and Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Should probably go to bed soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, always a pleasure. Yeah. I think we might worry. I think we might kill one more Rex or something if we can find one along here. Yeah. I think it sounds good for me, too. We've been, I've been on for how long now? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I got I crashed. What's it say your playtime is? Um, hour and thirty. Okay, yeah. So that's probably about where I am. I mean, we did pretty good for an hour. Yeah. Hour and a bit. Hmm. I do, do have to flex a bit. Um, killed eight T Rexes in under an hour. Mm. Nice. Well, you spawned in the best place, <laughs> you know, for that. <clears throat> yeah. The swamp uh, is always uh, 
spawned in bushwhack. They were like. There you go. Oh, I missed. I overshot him the first time. Oh, he gave me the perfect heart. Yeah, but you want to bring him a little closer. <clears throat> Been a little wet the past couple of days. <clears throat> my sinuses are acting up and my throat's all acting up. Yeah. Almost autumn, winter. <laughs> yeah, it's getting, uh, yep, summer's coming to an end. Summer is, uh, I guess springtime for you guys, right? Almost? Yeah, it's spring. Uh, yeah, oh, it's spring now. It's September. That's yeah, September, right? What's your official first day of spring down there? Um, it's, uh, on the 1st of September. Mm. Oh, no. What? Yeah, disconnect. Uh, oh, no, I'm good. What did you do, freeze for a second? <clears throat> Um, it's the 1st of September. That's the first official day of spring. Okay. Yeah. We always have our first days of the seasons, like, in the middle of the month. I don't know why that is. <coughs> I guess we go, I guess we must strictly go by, like, the, uh, you know, whatever the equinoxes or something i guess yeah probably yeah probably that's how we do ours yeah you probably do yours just simply simple <laughs> yeah it's it's always like every three months it's a season and then the next month on the first is a new season mm -hmm. right right Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, it would be better to have it that way, I think, but... Maybe we did it because of the farming. Yeah. That could be it, too, you know, because we used to be a farming nation. So that's oh, that's, yeah. that's possible. Oh, yeah. United States... Uh... Well, even today, we pump out a lot of uh, grain and stuff. One of the biggest producers in the world. But I mean, of course, everything's corporate, mm. corporatized now. <laughs> you know, most of yeah. the farms are bought up by corporations, so. Mm. That they just kind of like, uh, I guess, whatever you call it, sublet out to farmers. You know. He's got Rex tracks. We might have missed one. Oh, really? You see where? He's, he's down at Bushwhack. Huh? Like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's that's near the that's swampy area. Yeah, that's possible. Maybe he was hanging out by the beach. Did you go out to the beach? Sometimes they hang. Um, no, I don't yeah, think sometimes so. they just stand out there by the water until somebody, you know, gets their attention. I mean, we might see Staring one out, out here. Here comes the bird. Yeah. Birds coming. Oh. I think he saw us. I got something that'll send people flying. Uh Herky, everything's uh, okay on my end. Family's okay. 
<clears throat> my son just had a little bit of an accident, but uh, oh, yeah. he's he's recovering. Yeah, he fell down the steps, so he got banged up a little bit. <laughs> as long as the stairs are carpeted. No, they're not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wood. Oh, that yeah. makes. Yeah, he's he got some bruises. But yeah, that's a good that's a good idea actually. Maybe I'll carpet the stairs so that in case that happens again, you know, we don't want anybody to get hurt. I mean, there was really never a problem up until now. That's the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, it was morning. I mean, he could have been half asleep. I mean, who knows? Oh yeah. Ah. Somebody hit him. I got him in his skull. Yeah, that was your kill. I missed. Dead. He was dead before he even got to my yeah. gun. Boy. Just call I, me just call me the shot. just call me the ten percenter. That's all I seem to be getting lately. <laughs> yeah, let's check over here. There might be a Rex on the lava flow over here. Oh, we got another bird. Cool. Oh, oh he's coming from there. Okay. He's skipping. We got Velociraptor. Oh, I see a little Velociraptor. Mm -hmm. uh, I see him. The, the bird's uh, gliding downward. He's probably going to get ready to. Uh... Let's see if I. There he is. Wow, he's coming down right away. Okay. Can you nose dive? Yeah. Oh, wow. Where is he? Oh, jeez. Oh, there's two. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's a second one. Ah, okay. Cool. Let's see who's going to come get me. This one? Oh, they're both getting me. <laughs> that one was your kill. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. You can take that other one out if you want. I know he's died for you. Well, like if you shoot at him, he'll probably come after you. Or if you shoot near him. I think Buckshot's a reach. Still coming after me, huh? Oh, I keep on missing him. There he comes. Okay, there yeah. you go. Boom. Oh. oh, is he still alive? He got me. Hmm. I heard him. Do the, like... I heard him do the cry, but he didn't die. Yeah, he's oh, he's frozen for me. Ah, uh, he's flying away. He's like right there. Yeah, he's way up in the sky for me. He's flying away. Oh, did he? Is he injured? Um, he did the he did the Back. the death cry, but he didn't die. Hmm. He'll uh. Oh no! Oh no, no! Here he is. Up! Oh, oh, you got him. Yeah, he's dead. All right, cool. Yeah, he he was flying away from me up in the sky. That's he weird, huh? Flop. It's right in front of me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you'll see on yeah. the uh, stream, though, if you've ever looked at it. Yeah. 
kind of weird. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back and watch it. <laughs> Sometimes they go up in the sky and then they die. And then they'll fall like right in front of you. <laughs> like even if you're like walked yeah. even if you like walked away far away, it'll be like all of a sudden you'll hear like Barrr! and then you'll see something fall out of the sky. It's like they followed you. Yeah. Followed you just so you can see them die. Pretty quiet here. Like the ghosts. The ghosts just followed you. Those traps are still following us. So. Hmm. Yeah. They're curious little things. All right. So let's see. Where is the? Uh, yeah. Where is that little beach area? One beach gym. I think it's here, yeah. where I put the marker. That sometimes is a Rex that like walks through, walks to that beach area in this direction. Oh, yeah. We might be able to see a Rex here before we get off, hopefully. Yeah. One more Rex. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there isn't much here, so maybe one walk through. Scared everybody away. Yeah. It is a possibility. There, oh, there's a trike. <laughs> hmm. I cool so. Got one trike here. <laughs> and let's just see your AFK and keeping up the, the server. <laughs> Got me. There's got to be something out here. Surely. Surely there's something. Yeah, there's usually one that walks back and forth here. I usually catch at least one out here somewhere either at the the beach area or in the woods or by the coast i wanted to check out here though because they usually cross over to the uh um what is it site uh site b oh yeah i haven't really caught a rex out near site b really i used to i used to uh that was one of my hangout spots for a while. Uh, I mean, I I used I to just I used there. to just stay at that settlement and then just like, you know, get attacked by Utah and Trike and then Rex would just come. You know what I mean? From either this direction or from the basalt flow. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Um, I normally catch them like near the near the salt flow on my way to side B. Yeah, I normally they normally catch like one or two. Yeah, they cut it. They are always there. That's a pretty <laughs> common spot. That's true. Yeah. I think I caught like three or four there at one stage. Like it was. Yeah, that's the, that's the a pretty uh, yeah that's a pretty good either two or four from pre pretty good spot because they're walking from you know madams or sea and the you know basalt flow they're kind of like you know walking all around that area so you can catch quite a few sometimes if they happen to spawn yeah. fairly close you know together yeah I, I hear Utah I want to check up here on this beach. I'm at the right yeah. spot here. I think I'm at the right place. 
Yeah, because like on the map, you'll see the you'll see the lava flow go into the ocean. So that's a uh, Rex is usually there. Um, but there's also sometimes a Rex out here too. But I hear Utah, so there may not be one here now. If the Utah are roaming around mm, here. He's probably not done. He might be down by the where the ocean is. Uh, yeah. I'm out of stamina. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> huh. Where's the beach? Where am I going? Be sure I'm at the right spot here. Is it down there through the trees or? Oh yeah, there it is, yeah. Beyond the tree line here. Right. Okay. Thought I was at the right spot here. But yeah, beware. There's a box here somewhere. I hear it dinging. Oh yeah, just over here. Yeah, so a Rex, uh, this, a Rex walks through here. This is his pathway. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, you can catch one at the, what's it called? The great egg up here? All right, so he obviously, Hi. he probably, oh, yeah. he's probably not in that direction. Egg. Yeah. There's, uh, I only see two Utah right he's now. He's probably, like, down to the left. Yeah, he's probably towards the ocean. Yeah. Alright. I'll get the one below. I guess, well, I guess you're gonna get that one. Because <laughs> he wants to come after you. Yeah. He wants to die. Oh, no, he's going after you. Oh, never mind. Oh. Never mind. Oh, no, he died. Yeah, I got him in the oh. neck, oh. in the spine. Another one? Oh, really? What? Oh, uh, did he? Mm. He'll come back. Oh, Rex. See, there oh, you Rex. go. Here, you want to oh. harvest this real quick? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get my one up here. All Where'd right. he go? Oh. There he is. I know this game too well. Master. Uh, well, I'm not afraid to roam. Most people like to stay at the settlements. I, uh, I always used to go around the whole map. Alright, so there isn't much cover out here except for maybe this rock. So be careful. Going in between settlements and killing stuff that was me for years until. So I started like, you know what, let's explore. Right. <clears throat> well, you get a little more confident too, I guess. Once, yeah. Once you kind of get the controls down. Okay, yeah. so this is not a great spot here for us to do here. Hmm. The slope, maybe, but this isn't really a big slope. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh. He's sliding down the hill. I missed. Right, there we go. Whew. I don't know if it was you or me that got him. Oh, uh, that was you. I, I know I missed the first shot. Uh, you, you got the kill. Had him die. See, 1%. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They won't give me anything. Could you please wait for me? Uh, uh I'm getting off. Apparently soon. I'm <laughs> I might go look for one more at the ocean spot here before I get off. But um I'll I'll tag along. Alright. Yeah, it's not far. 
that might have been him. You know, because we were uh, we were making we were making quite a bit of noise. So. Yeah. True. There is a trike up here. Yeah. We weren't making that much noise that he would just turn around and run. No. Yep. Utah. I see one Utah. Yep. I hear two Utah now. Oh, ah, yeah. There's one out there, and then one in the woods, I think, somewhere. Yep, there's one, at least one in the woods. Oh, yeah. Hold um, let me just get this. Okay. Hey, you want that one? Yeah, I'm just bringing him over. Now, for the guy in the forest. <laughs> Why are you coming to me? They like you. <laughs> no, I. They like I that. They, they like that Aussie meat, man. Uh, I mean, I'm quite delicious, so. Mm -hmm. He's in here somewhere. Over. It's all you. No, why can't? Oh, there he is. He's blending. Oh, yeah. He's blending in. <laughs> to your left. Yeah. There yeah. you go. So right, you can get him. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Oh my god, he's like 700 meters away. Who? Who? Chris. <laughs> oh, he's coming to us. Huh? I told he's, him. I told he's him. like near um, Cool Soul. I told, I told him we're getting off soon. He's gonna, yeah. come, he's gonna come out here for nothing. Well, I mean, if he wants to play, that's fine. There's another Utah out there. He's coming oh, in yeah. the woods now. No, I don't. I don't care if you shoot him, because I, you know, I'm the cameraman. So it's like you're the you're the one you're the action star. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Uh, all right, I've now officially taken Boom. the spotlight. <laughs> I mean, I'll assist, you know, if you need it. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. You got visual. Okay. Up there. Uh, he's like on the lake. Oh no, he's running. Oh uh, no. Is he hurt? No, he's coming straight towards us. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, here's one here running. There's another one too. Coming. There's, the hill. Oh. there's two out here. They're skipping like crazy. Ah, he's running. Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, he's already here. That was quick. When uh, uh, last the last video I made, I think I was playing with my son. We were watching this guy. He he had ultimate sta uh, you know unlimited stamina, obviously, because <laughs> he was just like running and running and running and running and running and running and running, and running and never stopping. Can you spell it? You same bolt. <laughs> I. <laughs> Okay. Did you shoot him? Uh, no. Oh, Did he, didn't, he didn't make a noise at all. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. He, he just, like, plopped down. Is it bugged? Uh, you definitely got him. Yeah, I got him. No sound. 
Uh, I think. I think it, it has to do with like the host. It's had something to do with the hosting. Maybe. I'm not the host. Um. Uh, because Cool Soul's the host, he can hear the sounds. Yes. So when you um, if you kill something, or if I kill something, then um. Then that sound's gonna play for you, but not for me. Oh jeez. There we go. Did it play for you? <laughs> yeah, I did hear something. Where's that path? Uh, Where's that path? There's a Rex here. <laughs> now, yeah, he'll they'll be up on the other side, but uh, where's that pathway? It's way down here. Oh, Rex. Oh, there you go. See. <laughs> yeah, Chris goes a little wild on the guns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I heard. All right. This, you hear that this, 700 pop this, off? This is the grand finale. Oh, big. The last Rex of the day. Yeah, I think it's a female. Can't see yeah. it. It's too far female. away right now. She doesn't see us, huh? No, it's a he. Oh. Wow, you're like right in front Holy. of me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. Good shot. That was you. I'm, uh -huh. miss I'm Mr. 10%. Alright. Let's check it. Probably Chris got it. No, you got oh, it. Oh, 64. Man, I feel like uh, I'm a somebody now. I'm a hunter. <laughs> You're a hunter now. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to call the stream for now. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, my God. It's nearly anyway. 1.30. <laughs> Let me just tell him we got to go now. Yeah, well, thanks for playing. It was fun. Appreciate yeah. you getting on. Appreciate, no worries. Appreciate nice the chat. playing with you again. And uh, have good luck in school. Yeah. Keep oh, I'll stuff. have fun. Don't lag behind on your studies. <laughs> yeah. You know how that can be. <laughs> that is true. Everybody in the stream, cool. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Peace.